well, hey, like all of us, I've been just kind of watching the Ukraine and kind of just scrolling and just, you know, getting sucked in. And it's made me think a lot about, you know, what it means to be a good neighbor and, and as we talk about community and loving people and all that. I just discovered some things. And before we get into all that today, um, I'm sitting here in the Thinking Cup. You know, it's kind of one of my one of my favorite places in Boston, kind of one of my go-tos. And, um, and I'm sure you've got places you go to, too. You know, like last, last video I threw up here, um, uh, people were talking about, oh, I remember the World Prayer Center. And they were kind of talking about, you know, memories and, and spaces and all that. And I wonder, maybe you've got some favorite spots, some favorite coffee shops in and around Boston. Maybe it's here at the Thinking Cup. Maybe it's down the street at Pavement. And what I thought might be fun is, is throw in the chat, you know, where your favorite coffee shops are. And uh, I'll just maybe, maybe I'll just start doing a tour de force of, uh, of coffee shops as, you know, things kind of jump in my head. And, and, uh, and I'll just go out and, and do stuff there. In fact, I got a couple cool ideas coming up. So, um, so I'm, if you would just kind of throw down in the chat real quick before we jump into to what we'll talk about today, you know, your favorite coffee shop in and around the Boston area, uh, that'd be awesome. Um, but anyway, so, so the Ukraine, uh, I was scrolling through some stuff and, uh, and you know, there's a mess in Ukraine right now. You know, there's no two ways about it. You know, you got moms and dads uh, and kids who are going to sleep, you know, not knowing if they're going to be safe. You know, you got, there's pictures all over the place. You know, you got, you know, the you know, invasion and war and all the things, you know. Um, but in the midst of all that, I stumbled across uh, some people talking about, you know, um, Africans in Ukraine and, and the fact that there's there's race issues happening, you know, who can get on buses, who can get on trains, who can't. And in the midst of all of that, I saw someone post, you know what, I'm done praying for the Ukraine. If this is what's going to be what's going on there, I'm done praying for peace there. And I was like, whoa, okay, just because there's a, a, an evil thing happening over there um, doesn't mean that, that, that we should stop praying that good would happen somewhere else. And it made me think about like our, our neighbors, right? If we're gonna be serious about jumping in and, and, and loving people and loving human beings, we all have stuff in our life that it is like that's like awesome and we should champion, we should want to grow. But if we're honest, we also have places, you know, like we're just we're just not great people sometimes. And uh, if we're gonna be honest about loving people and creating uh, creating community and, and wrapping our arms around engaging people, we also have to engage the mess. And so as we love people, it doesn't, you know, it doesn't mean we don't call evil evil. I mean, I mean, Jesus did. He, he, when he, I'm thinking of the moment where he, where he's with the woman at the well, you know, or I'm sorry, not the woman at the well, the woman who caught in adultery. And he looks at her and he says, hey, go and sin no more. I love you. Um, and you can, you can, and maybe we even think we should engage with people and love them and not be afraid of the mess. Um, so maybe that's the takeaway for us all today. If we're going to be serious about loving people, if we're going to be serious about about jumping in and getting in and being a good neighbor. Um, we got to love people in spite of the mess. And, uh, and maybe we should jump in and pray about the mess with them. But it always starts with looking around and going, mm, we got to do, we, we got to jump in and connect. So just hope you're doing awesome. Uh, if you are one who's like, I'm not sure what to do about Ukraine, how about this? Pray. Pray for peace. And we're told to do that.